the way in which he will talk about the personal interactions of Vladimir Putin versus other heads of state, how that gets in the way of things, or how that influences things. He'll talk about the human element, he'll talk about the geographic element, he'll talk about the historic element, he'll talk about the political element. He'll put them together, and he'll think two or three moves ahead like a chess master in terms of if we do this, this is how it affects all these players. It's very impressive, and when reporters see it, they come out going, wow. That's the way he is. So you think he's smarter than the public thinks he is? No, I know he's a lot smarter than the public thinks he is. He's smarter, look, and it's not just because I'm an adoring employee. He's smarter than we are. There is a combination of street smarts, but also the very aggressive book learning. You know, he and Rove got into these book reading contests. Hello, everybody. Questions? Today, Snow himself is in a contest with cancer, a battle that began in 2005 when he had his colon removed. This year, the cancer came back. The second time, uh, my reaction was, you know, I sort of thought that might be happening. The 52-year-old husband and father of three has completed a rigorous chemotherapy regimen while continuing his White House duties. There are some days when you kind of knee crawl your way through the day. I thought my first one was tough, but this one had an agent that I used to liken to Drano that would just that sort of turn me green the day I'd, I'd do chemo. And it'd, it'd kind of wipe you out. It's the one that took Tony died last night. Saturday of colon cancer at the age of 53. It was a life, as President Bush said today, that was far too brief. There. His eulogy, President Bush thanked Tony's wife, Jill, for giving him such a special life and addressed directly Tony's three children, Kendall, Robbie, and Christy. The children heard the president recount how often he would call Tony for counsel on weekends, only to find him attending their soccer games and swim meets and helping with their homework. He loved you a lot, the president said, a sentiment echoed by other eulogists. But Mr. Bush also brought a moment of levity. He said he translated my father's, is a speechwriter, he translated my father's policies into English, and he translated my English into English. <laughs>